some banana puff puff. It's basically all just banana, flour, yeast, sugar, and yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the bananas and start blending blending them. Your bananas can be this ripe, like, like this. It's way better than just having them like this. The closest or the almost spoil your bananas are, the, be the best are uh, your banana puff puff to really come out because the banana really, the banana needs to be like really, really ripe for your puff puff to taste yummy. Anyways, but since I'm a professional, I know how to manage this one to still get the same results. And you guys will see that at the end. Look at this almost spoil that's the best one that's how you want them to be so now you know don't ever again throw your bananas away whenever you see them oh no they are too ripe yeah guess what you can do with them make some banana puff puff mm -hmm. you can use it as a dessert you can use it for breakfast like the banana puff puff dessert for breakfast anything it just depends how you feel about it so I'm gonna add some water in here just to make it easier and for myself when I'm blending the the banana. I'm gonna carry this on the other side. I don't have any outlet here to blend it. This is all my banana. So right now what I'm going to do is add my flour in here, mix it. Then I will add my salt, add some sugar, add some yeast, and I will let it sit for about an hour or so before I can actually go ahead and fry it. So but I will show you guys the process though. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour to my um, blended banana that I already blended. And honestly, guys, in case any one of you decide to actually make this, make sure you use the flower that say all purpose, like this one. I try, I actually try using a different one. And honestly, my my puff puff did not turn out to be the way like it's supposed to be. Just in case, I really don't go by measurements. And the reason is because I literally just look at it and I i'm like okay the flower is you know like i go by the consistency like i don't do measurement that's because i've been making this for about i don't know how many years now so going by measurements really i think it's going to slow me down because i know what to do i know what to expect so what to expect and what i'm supposed to be seeing while i'm getting the the work done so maybe later on the better you become at it the you know the strategies you will have to go about it if you want to use measurement or not you can tell it's becoming a little bit thicker then uh, it was earlier And the truth is that, look at it, let me see, yeah. So if you look at, look at the consistency. It's thick enough, at the same time, no good, like no that enough. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to mean. But anyway, it's thick and you can actually go ahead and add every other thing, the sugar, the yeast to it. However, when it's time to fry it, it's gonna be very oily. And the reason is because it's not like thick, thick, like too thick. Look at it, it's thick, but it's not too thick. 
So if you fry like this, it might still taste good, but it's gonna be oily. I mean, I don't like the puff puff too oily like that. I don't like it when it's too oily and I don't think anybody like, you know, sucking the oil out of something. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. Guess what? I'm gonna add some more. And the reason is because honestly, right now it's good enough. This is the way I want it. However, once I add the sugar to this mixture, this thickness, I don't know where will it be going to, but you will not see it like this no more. It gets dissolved. I don't know what's the right word actually, but yeah, so that's why I make sure it's really thick because I know once I add sugar to it. The sugar will reduce the consistency like the thickness you're gonna see what i'm talking about like i don't know how to explain what i mean but you're gonna see what i'm talking about now it's so thick to the point that i can't even mix it So thick now. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and add sugar to it. Sugar. The amount, the quantity of sugar you put in there, it all depends on yourself, like how sweet you want it. Do you want it too sweet? Do you just want it, you know? be able to taste that okay yeah this is perfect or do you just want the banana itself without adding sugar which is possible too like you must not put sugar if you don't like uh sugar or you i mean if you don't like your your, your dessert or whatever is it too sweet you don't have to add sugar to it but i want to add sugar to it And this is what I was telling you guys about. As soon as I add the sugar, can you guys see this? The consistency thing is not as thick as it was earlier before I added the sugar. Can you see this? Look at it. And that's the reason I needed to make it too thick before adding the sugar because I knew once I add the sugar, it was going to change the consistency. So, and honestly, I might even end up adding more um, flour because I really want it to be thick enough that way the the um when i start frying the puff puff it doesn't become too oily because if it's not thick enough i'm telling you the two your puff puff will become very oily and the reason i say i might end up adding more flowers because i don't know yet if the sugar that i added is enough i'm gonna try it if it's good enough then i might not add more flour but then if it's not good enough as soon as i add sugar again i will end up adding flour again let's see let me find one It's not as sweet as I would like it to be yet. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more of sugar. And I will put the rest of the flour to it. Look at it. It's ready. Look how thick it is. 
just perfect so this is how you want your your mixture to look like so right now i will go ahead and add a spoon of salt it's not always going to be this, like only one spoon of salt though it all depends on the quantity of your your mixture but i know it one spoon will actually do it for this amount and the next thing i will add is my yeast i'll go ahead and add this amount of yeast just the exact amount of um um salt that i added so go ahead and mix it again So guys i'm done mixing it this is the mixture that the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cover it up and i'm going to let it sit for about an hour i'm back my mixture is ready as you guys can see, it's all the way up here now. My oil is already pretty hot. So it's time to dump this in here. You guys can see. And it looks like it's all flour right now, but guys, no, this is banana puff puff. It is ready now, guys, so it's time to remove it. This is the end result. I'm making my puff puff, my banana puff puff, and you guys can see it just right here. And it's ready to be eaten. But if you guys enjoy watching this video, if you like what you see, if you would like to try something, if you have any question, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you would like to watch more videos, see more videos of this, of my cooking, or any type of thing, any type of new recipe, always you can always make a request. Thank you guys, bye bye. See you guys in my next one.